Hi guys, my name is Jenna. If you guys are new here, welcome back to my channel and welcome to our monthly plan with me video. This becomes kind of the only video that I know I will be filming on a monthly basis and I just love it so much. I hope you guys love these videos too. We're currently on September of 2023 and I feel like for all of 2023, I've had such a good planning system and just the act overall of planning my month out has really helped me feel like I have my life together. I'm supporting myself. As everyone says, I'm just so busy and I feel like planning is the only way that gives me some sanity with just like my crazy schedule and my crazy day to day. So I just get really excited of doing this whole process of planning my month out with you guys, showing you my goals, show you how we're progressing throughout the month and the year and show you guys my notion, my bullet journal, my planner, my actual journal because we actually did that this month and I'm really excited to take you guys along for today's video so i guess just without further ado let's go ahead and get started and we got a cherry coke zero for the vibes today how about we just hit the ground running with our bullet journal because honestly i think this is the thing that i'm like least excited to show you guys this month and that's just because i don't love september's theme but that's like a silly reason for any of you guys that are possibly new this is my planner slash bullet journal and this is what i use all of my daily to do's so my whole entire planning system is traditional paper planning digital digital planning on Notion and we actually use Google Calendar as well for some digital planning, but this is my daily to-do list and this is my habit tracker and this is my mood tracker and, and this is my monthly self-care because this is a coloring book at the end of the day this is made by amanda rachel lee on youtube and and this is her business shop amanda rachel lee and if you watched last month's plan with me then you know that this was the theme of august and it's literally i think the best theme that's in this planner it was just so much fun to use every single month and just seeing all these colors was so fun i want to show you guys my filled habit and mood tracker because I was pretty good this month about keeping up with tracking everything. Oh my gosh, look at that. Is this not like the most colorful, prettiest thing you've ever seen ever? If you guys can tell though, um, August was just a little crazy and I feel like I got better as the month went by, but in the beginning, I just feel like I had some bad days. Like why do I have all these bad days? I honestly really like doing habit and mood tracking though because it allows me at the end of the month to just reflect on why it was this way. And yes, it's very colorful and really pretty to look at, but when I look back on this, honestly, I just see that I had a lot of like frowny face days. And if you guys know, August was literally crazy. I feel like August pushed me over the edge of summer into the abyss of let's get into fall. But for habits, I feel like we did a pretty good job with tracking our habits. The only thing that kind of is a little bit out of my usual routine for habit tracking this month is my exercise. I traveled for a week in the beginning of August and then I got sick at the end of August where I just took a whole entire week off of working out. This one day that I worked out on the 27th was just a long walk day. It was a walk nonetheless. So my exercise routine was not really there. And, and as you guys can see, I journaled only once or twice in August, but that was my goal to just do it once in August and I did that. So yeah, here's how the bullet journal looks. Here's September's theme. Okay. <laughs> It's vegetable themed. And you know what? It's not like the worst theme ever. I, and I think it looks all nice that I colored it and it was still very therapeutic to color it myself. I just feel like fruit is a lot more pleasing to look at than vegetables. And I would rather have a planner with another month of fruit than vegetables. It really doesn't matter though, because this is just my planner. This is where I write all of my to-dos and this is where I track everything. So it's okay, you know? Here's how the weekly layouts look. It's very simple and just very on theme of veggies. And yeah, that's that. If you guys want to see how the habit and mood tracker look, by the end of September, then you guys will just have to stay subscribed and watch next month's plan with me video. But here's how it looks, totally blank. Anyways, that's my planner, all done and pretty. I'm so excited, honestly, because we're getting close to the end of the year, which means that this whole entire bullet journal or like blank bullet journal will be filled. And I just can't wait to flip through with you guys and just do like a fun little flip through portion. Even though I don't love the theme, I'm really just like being dramatic about it. This is like the best thing ever. And I'm someone that really just needs to write my daily to do's, not do like a weekly planner or daily planner on my laptop. My laptop is for like big picture, long-term stuff. And my regular planner is for my daily things. So that's, I feel like a good way that I can differentiate my planning style. Also, before I forget, here is my journal. I'm really proud of myself that I did journal this month. I'm gonna show you. 
obviously. I hadn't journaled all summer and I feel like that goes to show how crazy summer was. I feel like something that blocks me from journaling and I'm just gonna say this for anyone else that also feels this way is that when I take a break from journaling, I feel like that first entry back after a break is me having to like catch up my journal on everything that I haven't documented since I last wrote. And I feel like that block enough makes me not wanna journal, I'm telling you, because I had to tell myself it doesn't matter. If your journal misses certain memories, that's totally fine. Maybe it was just the type of memory that you wanted to live in the moment anyways, not something that you wanted to write down and reflect and think so deeply about every single little thing. And there's really no wrong way to journal. You can do bullets, you can do highlights, you can just do a brain dump and write down what's on your mind if you're feeling stressed mentally. But in the end, I feel like journaling is just a really good way for me to clear my mind, get stuff on paper. It's kind of like a personal therapy session with yourself. Journaling is really nice because it really forces me to slow down. When my hand cramps up, I have to wait. And like that act alone is honestly really satisfying because I have to slow down and I can't speed up the process of journaling. So I wanna to speak to that because I feel like I've never spoken about that before about like the act of taking a break from journaling and then coming back to it because I think a lot of people probably feel the same way I do. If you need that encouragement, I'm here for you. And if you want this journal, it's from Type Haley. It's a small business and I really like it because it's really compact. So I can always just kind of put this in my purse if I need to or like a tote bag or a backpack, just something really small and compact. I like the ones that don't have spirals when it comes to journaling just because I can like throw it anywhere and it won't get messed up. So I really like this. It was really affordable too. And yeah, it's from Taipei. This is my work notebook. So I don't really know why I brought it over. I think it's just like pretty with the color palette of all of my planners, but okay, that's everything for journaling and traditional paper planning. Now let's go to our Notion. Okay, let's head over to our Notion. If you guys watched one of my recent videos in the last month, I did make a very, very small update to this Notion template, but for the most part, like 99.9% .9 of this Notion template is available for you guys to download. And it'll look exactly the same as you see it right now. It's really just my content schedule that's changed. It used to be called like YouTube posting dates, but now it's called content schedule. It's just the same exact thing. How about let's start with that. Let's just go backwards. Make it fun. <laughs> Here's my content schedule and it looks basically the same. This is YouTube posting dates. I fancied around the idea of planning out short form content because that is something that I'm kind of adding to my life as a content creator. But I decided not to make a schedule for a short form, at least for the month of August. I'm just gonna test out like doing it kind of on the fly in the moment and more in real time instead of having to add like another thing to plan. It was still nice though because I was able to update this page. Everything looks the same and it's the same layout. I've just made more properties visible, which is something new that I learned. So if you go to these three dots and then click on properties, you can kind of choose which properties are visible on your calendar. So if I wanted to say platform, then I, then I would click on that and then it shows YouTube. But since I don't think I'm gonna be planning out my short form content, at least for the month of September, I am not showing that. So all you see is status and the content tags of every single video. And then I've even added some little emojis because I think that's really fun. And the names of all of the videos that I'm uploading in September. So here's what we're planning. I You'll see in the goals, but I do have a lot of really fun videos planned for you guys. And even if this changes, which it's very much valid and prone to changing over time, I just think it's good to have at least a baseline starting schedule so that it's easier to move stuff around instead of coming up with something on the dot or the day of because you don't know what else to film. So we have our September plan with me. That's this video, apartment hunting video. All the info and everything is ready. So I know you guys have been waiting on that and I promise it's coming in September. We have some work to live diaries videos, how I edit. I know that's been something that's been on my monthly plan with me videos as part of my content schedule for maybe like two months now, but I just really wanted to take the time to understand what my best filming setup was for my camera. And I've definitely figured it out in the last month you guys have been asking me so much on every single video like what is your filming setup what do you use so i'm going to address all of that in my how i edit video which is coming up this month if you guys can tell the moving content is coming and it is starting oh my gosh i literally cannot wait i'm gonna make like seven moving vlogs i think because i just want to film everything and i don't think we'll be moving for another two years after this time so i just want to film it all 
I'm going to film everything. And then if you go to all videos, this is something that's new too. I cleaned this up. I honestly didn't really know how to use this page before. Now I have a very nice refreshed page of what all of my video titles are, the platform, and then the status, publish date, and content tag. So it's all the same database. It's like the same exact stuff. It's just a different view of the data, which I really like. So I've been kind of going back and forth between these two because I like this visually with where I am in the month, but I like this just as a list of seeing what videos I plan to film just on a different format. I usually don't show this to you guys as early as I do in this monthly plan with me videos, but I just wanted to show you because I feel like I've made some really good updates to my Notion, specifically with this one page, and I just feel a lot better about it now. So that's the content schedule. Okay, now let's backtrack and go to our yearly goals. I haven't looked at this like all month, so we'll see where we're at. You guys know that quarter four is all about just kind of putting everything together that I have been working on all year, health and fitness, personal, career. These are just like my three main buckets in my life where I really wanted to grow this year and I really wanted to be like extra intentional about. So let's just see where we are. Personal. Mid-year, I wrote to read five more books. We did read one more book and I'll talk about that later. Weekly self care. I honestly don't really know what will make me check this off, but I feel like if I'm in a good mental state by the end of the year and I feel like I'm thinking about my weekly self-care on a regular basis, even if I don't do it every single week and I'm definitely not tracking it like week by week, but I feel like I put this goal on here to just try to remember to take care of myself better. So I'm gonna leave it up here, but I'm not gonna check it off. And then prioritize time alone. I definitely wanna do this, especially focus on this for the second half or second quarter or last quarter, I mean, of the year. Summer has been crazy for me in the sense that I feel like I've jam packed all of my social things, like big travel plans, seeing every single like type of friend that I've been wanting to see for a long time in the summer. I love that, but now I'm ready to just like prioritize my time alone, especially in the fall. I just wanna get a good groove of listening to me more than spending time and like putting in energy into others. There's nothing wrong with spending time with others. You guys know me and that's like my favorite thing ever is spending time with the people that I love, but it's a challenge for me to really prioritize my time alone. And that's why I really put it on here as a goal. So prioritize time alone. We will work on that. I'll try to be more mindful of that in September. Health and fitness, 80-20 lifestyle. I feel like I'm doing a good job of tracking my happy meals just you know on a chill basis not be too serious or too precise about it but just kind of being more mindful of eating more whole foods more healthy foods more nourishing foods than the bad foods but you guys know how much I love my sweets. So I'm not saying I'm restricting myself because I'm definitely not. I literally have sweets every single day. And if you guys watch the Work to Live series and you guys know that, but that's the 20% of 80-20. And that's why I really like the 80-20 mindset to begin with. And I explained that more on my 80-20 lifestyle page. Life is all about balance. And I feel like if I can just have a good balance of prioritizing healthy stuff, but obviously balancing it with the stuff that feeds my soul, then I'll be happy. Cook more Korean food. Okay. Ooh. I feel like I actually kind of did that this month. We made some Korean food here and there, but I feel like I could do this a little bit better. So I feel like I'm cooking more in general, which is really good. But now I need to cook more Korean food, not just other types of foods. And then maintain my consistency with exercise. I'm definitely on track with this, even though August was what it was. If those two weeks out of the whole year were the weeks that I kind of fell off, that's totally fine. I'm still being consistent. And then career, make videos outside of my comfort zone at least once a month. I did a travel vlog last month and I did something else too that I hadn't done before. And it was really, really fun. What, what did I do? Oh, adjusting to nine to five tips video. That was a video I had never done before and it was so much fun. Make sure you guys check out that video, 10 tips adjusting to your nine to five life. It's been really fun making this a goal for the year because I feel like I've been doing something at least once a month that's challenging myself creatively. Rebrand my YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna check this off because even though my intro and outro are not rebranded in terms of like my, you know, the animations made by Ty Paley, I feel like I've fully rebranded my whole channel with color grading, my new filming setup, figuring out how I wanna do my intros, the music style, the text. I feel like everything seriously has been so enhanced and I've been putting in the effort to try to enhance it, especially in the last month, that I feel like I'm gonna check off this goal. I feel really good about the branding of my channel. I feel like it's very unique, it's very happy, it's very bright, colorful, very me, and I'm really proud of myself, so. Feeling really good. No burnout this year. This is really for nine to five in content to just not burn out, feel overwhelmed. 
which I feel like I'm doing a really good job of, but I will admit I, I am feeling pretty burnt out socially, which is really weird for me to say. I feel like I would never admit that. So I'm gonna just try to be mindful of not overdoing it in September with the social plans and then release a new collection for Jage Collective. I'll talk about that in the monthly goals. My focuses for September are time alone and my fitness routine because I wanna get back into my fitness routine, especially because August was just crazy and inconsistent. Prioritize time alone because August was like way too much of that. So, okay, well, those are all of my yearly goals, checking in with everything. It was nice to check off something and just, I feel like it's good to talk about these same goals that I was really, really careful about choosing in the beginning of the year and refreshing in the middle of the year that I feel like you guys know what my yearly goals are if you watch these plan with me videos so i feel like it's just fun to check in with you guys the same way i would want to check in with a friend or myself it's just a good way to i think reflect monthly goals and reflections before we go to september let's go to our archive and scroll all the way down to look at what we did for august okay i'm gonna try to breeze by these because i talked about a lot of these things in my yearly check-in goals editing growth color grading you guys already know it. PTO week, enjoyed traveling. I did enjoy it, even though it was exhausting, but it was just like a really fun week. I went to Lollapalooza, I went to California, I saw Selena, and it was just like amazing. And I did not check my email. Learn more about the Sony ZV-E10. I definitely did that. I'm learning more just in general about this camera because this is a new camera, the Sony ZV-E10. And I got it around a month ago now. So I feel like I've learned a lot about how to use it. And I think you guys are noticing too. Summer JH Collective Collection. Okay, let me just address this here. We are not doing a Summer JH Collective Collection, but we are going to just make those colorful t-shirts permanent on the website. And I'm just waiting on one more color. That's really really the only reason why it's still delayed. Because this is no longer a limited edition collection and we're just making this permanent, I wanna add one neutral color for you guys. And this is for specifically the Miss You Already new embroidered t-shirt. I'm so, so, so excited to launch them for you guys. I know you've been waiting but I'm trying to come out with like a neutral color that will be good for someone that doesn't want a colorful color or you just want something chill and neutral i got you i'm just waiting for it to come to my apartment and then i will take pictures of everything and upload it all to the website so that's the only reason why i'm not checking this off is because we decided to actually make it permanent and add a color so that is coming in september i promise i promise i promise i promise i promise it's coming in september and we even have a miss you already crew neck that's a new color for specifically the fall time so there was like this teal color that we were working on and I teased it a little bit on my Instagram if you guys follow me there but I'm just decided to scrap that keep it as a sample and do this new fall color because it's September now you know so it'll be really really pretty I'm so excited I actually love this new color more than the teal so stay tuned I promise 80 20 half marathon training I did train even though it wasn't consistent I feel like I did the best that I could with the time that I had here and the time that I was not sick to do my half marathon training so I still marked that off but I did not go to Orange Theory twice a week and I did not do one long run a week because of again the travel and being sick weekly meal planning every single week Thomas actually brought this up on our monthly check-in that he's really happy that I've been doing weekly meal planning because he didn't realize how hard it was to choose the meals it's one thing to think cooking is hard it's another thing to actually plan out what meals you will be cooking which is why i like hello fresh so yeah i checked that off and i'm happy that i even got some like affirmation from my boyfriend okay personal i did read one book i read a core of thorns and roses and it was so amazing i am really proud of myself because it's a long book but also it was amazing so i'm just really happy that's book number six of the year i'm trying to read 10 books in 2023 so i have four more to go and yeah really happy it was so good <laughs> i actually finished it in a vlog with you guys too if you want to watch the weekend reset video then check that out it's so much fun it's a really fun vlog and i literally finished the book in real time with you guys journal one to two times minimum again i'm really proud of myself for actually finally journaling this month hang out with someone i haven't seen in a while that was a new goal and i feel like i saw a lot of people in august that i hadn't seen in a while i saw all my new york friends i saw a new girlfriend that I've been trying to see like literally for months and so yeah that was really good and I feel like it was a challenge to hang out with someone that I hadn't seen in a while so happy I did that and then finalize my apartment situation yes as you guys saw we are going to be moving in the end of September so we finalized everything we put in our notice for this place and we will be moving on at the end of September lastly let's look at our September goals here's what we have YouTube and corporate I'm literally making it a goal to do these two videos apartment hunting video how I edit video because I know you guys are probably sick of me saying that the video is coming, but it is coming. It's planned. I'm doing it and it's literally a goal. 
both of them, okay? <laughs> and then fine trainings for work. That's for my corporate job. I just got promoted to manager last month. And I feel like I just wanna take more trainings on transitioning, becoming a manager. So have that for my corporate job. And then become more comfortable posting TikToks because you guys know that I'm trying to be on TikTok. It's the same handle as my Instagram, Jenna X Hong. And I'm trying to have just like fun with TikTok, making little voiceover videos, just like ASMR videos, random things, honestly. Honestly, it's really uncomfortable every single time I post a TikTok, which is crazy because you would think that all content is the same, but it's not, I, it's really not. 80-20, my only thing is really to just complete my half marathon because that's towards the end of September. So I don't really wanna do too much. I feel like I'm honestly challenging myself enough as it is with my career goals, just making sure I do these two videos and then it's gonna be crazy after the half marathon because I'll be moving. So I don't wanna overdo it, tell myself that I'll cook when I know that like, I just have to take it week by week. So all I did for 8020 is complete the half marathon. Personal, read one book. I'm gonna try my best again to read and complete A Court of Mist and Fury, which is book number two of the Court and Thorns and Roses series. So I'm really excited. Rachel, who was reading the first one with me, is already like halfway through the second book and I'm really jealous. So I really want to read that and at least keep up somewhat with her so that we can talk about it because I think it's really fun to talk about the books that you read with your friends. That's a goal. And then number two, don't overdo the plans. <laughs> speaks for itself. And number three, girls day. I have a small group of girls that I really love and they're just like the perfect group of girls for me that like really fully fill my cup and it's just like such a healthy friendship that we all have. I haven't seen them for all of August because of how crazy it was and I was supposed to see them the weekend that I got sick but I had to cancel everything as soon as I got sick of course. So I really miss them and I want to make sure that I see them in September. That's everything for my monthly goals and reflections. I'm not going to show the reflections from August just because I think that's a little personal at this point but that's what the Notion template has. And then lastly I want to show you guys the Books and Media Hub because I did update that because now we have a Court of Thorns and Roses completed it in August. Like you guys, look at how much I have read. Um, yeah, that's amazing. And then I did add movies and shows too. I added The Summer I Turned Pretty. I did watch that in August. It was so much fun. Loved season two. And then I watched The Menu, crazy, crazy film, but it was so much fun. And then The Menu and Past Lives are two movies that I watched. Oh my God, wait, I watched another movie. It's called Your Name. I watched that the weekend that I got sick with Thomas and that was an amazing movie. It was so good. It was an anime film and it was just like actually, it was just actually amazing. What am I doing? That was amazing. Loved that movie. And I'm really happy that I feel like I've been watching movies a lot more in the last month because I love movies. Like honestly, I love movies more than shows. So that's the books and media hub. I love the cover of this. I think it's so fun. Okay, that's everything for Notion. For Google Calendar, this is what I use for all of my like social plans, sharing my plans with Thomas, figuring out what plans with Thomas that we're doing together. And then my YouTube posting schedule is also on here. So this is how Google Calendar looks. And this is how August was. I'm gonna blur out everything that I want to for like privacy purposes, but yep, it was literally crazy. It was crazy. But at least I had a lot of friends that were in town and friends that visited. And just in general, it was a really good month. It just like is one of those months that I'm glad it's over kind of thing, you know? Okay, ending the screen recording now. Well, that is everything for this month's Plan With Me video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had so much fun filming this with you guys because it was a little bit different than our usual Plan With Me's. All the same stuff, just in a different order, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys liked videos like this, I have a whole series on my monthly Plan With Me videos, and I started this in January, so if you wanna go back and see how I've been every single month, I think that would be really fun. Make sure you guys check out the Work to Live series, and I will see you guys in next month's Plan with me video. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos every Tuesdays and Fridays. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video, but until then, miss you already.